Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to use Microsoft Word tools to make editing documents a little bit easier. In previous videos, I would have shown you how to set up your Word document so it looks similar to this, where you would have access to the quick access toolbar, you'd have access to see your ruler on the top and on the side, and you'll also have access to view hidden characters, which we'll go into a little bit later. So let's get started. For this video and for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, we're just going to use these three shortcuts on our quick access toolbar. These are the shortcuts to get the spacing before paragraph, the spacing after paragraph, as well as your line spacing. And if you hover over it, you'll be able to see those descriptions stated there. These tools can also be accessed by highlighting the paragraph we'd like to edit. We need to right click and click on paragraph and that's where you'll see before spacing, after spacing, as well as line spacing. I've added these shortcuts to my quick access toolbar because these are things that I use regularly when I'm editing Microsoft documents. So let's get started. Um, at first glance, it seems like everything is fine for the most part with the document. Um, but if you notice, some of the indentations are a little bit off and some of the paragraph spacings as well are a little bit off. The key to having a very clean looking document is ensuring that your formatting styles are consistent, your fonts are consistent and your font sizes are consistent. Um, of course, making allowances for headers, um, for any headings you have in your in your document. Um, so let's let's have a look at that now. So right away, I can see that my indent is saying that it should be straight to here. However, the word modern is a little bit off. And without seeing special characters, I will not be able to know why the word document is laid out the way it is. And these special characters are basically those characters that are not printable. When you print them, when you print a document, you won't see it, but they're there. So to view those, just going to go back into home and click on this reverse B. And you'll see what was actually used to align these items to come into, into space. So these actually a lot of spaces were used to get it to here. Um, similarly here, um, space bar was used to get it to, to line up, right? So let's remove all the unnecessary um, characters that we don't really we don't really need to have. Normally, when I edit a document, I try to edit edit a batch at a time. So whatever I can see on my screen is what I try to work with, and then I scroll down and work on the next batch. Again, consistency is key. Um, one thing I like to do is I like to highlight the area I'm looking at. And I will change the spacing before to a consistent spacing. Normally, I would use six spacing before and um, zero spacing after. So everything is a little more consistent looking. Um, I would also check my margins to make sure all the margins, all the indents are the same. And then the last thing I would do is if I see these tabs at the top, but they're not really being used, I'll remove them. And to remove them, you just highlight the area and you double click on one of the tabs. And then you just click on clear all. OK, and all your tabs are cleared. So now everything is a little bit more uniform and a little bit um, easier to, to see and understand. If you would like to indent the first um, line of your paragraph, you can simply highlight all of it and just move the indent. So if I set it to one, to make things look uniform and consistent throughout the document, I'm going to stick to that one indent unless it's it, it needs further indent or unless it's a sub paragraph of another paragraph. So now I'm moving on to my second uh, section, which is this part here. Again, the key is always consistency. You'll notice that this font is a little bit different to the font at the top. The font at the top is times 11. So let's change this now to times 11.
right and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to check our paragraph spacing and our line spacing so if there's any line spacing we're going to change it to one and then paragraph spacing we're going to just change this to six before and zero after for consistency whichever whatever line spacing you would like to use whatever paragraph you'd like to use it's fine just try to make sure that it's consistent throughout the document generally i don't use line spacings i normally set it to one and i will use six before and zero after again we want to make sure the indents are in line with the rest of the document and we want to remove any of the special characters so if you'll notice that we used a return here for it to um, have the space before but now that we have a space before by using six points we can just delete this we can delete the extra spaces and we can delete the extra return because um, we now are using six point before to space those paragraphs apart right So next thing we want to do is we want to add the indents that we had before at the top. So we're just going to put it to one. That should be fine. Um, if you'll notice, it seemed like we used returns a lot here and we, we basically pressed enter a lot for it to go to the next page. Uh, to avoid a situation, what you can do is you can put a page break and your information will move to the next page without having to do all these returns um, on the page. And as you add information, let me show you how that works. So you go into layout and you go into the page break. And that way you can just delete the extra characters that are there. And if you add anything onto this page, your information doesn't move down here. So you don't have the, the issue of, of, the, of the data moving down further. It, it will stay on that page because you add a page break, right? So that part is formatted, should be okay. So if you look at it, you'll notice that the formatting of this is a little bit more, um, from end to end as opposed to right formatted or left formatted um this is because this formatting is justified which is this one here um whereas this one is right aligned so you can see from just looking at the edges it looked a little bit off so you can decide which method you want to use to align your your document but again the key is consistency so if justified works best for you then you need to justify a pair as well just so that everything looks nice and uniform and consistent so we're on to the next page and we're going to notice that there are different fonts there are different sizes there are different line spacings um, so we're going to look at fixing that right now so again we're just going to select everything drop the line spacing to one six before zero after just for consistency whichever you use is, is fine um, align these this way <clears throat> change your top indent change this to times 11 and there's a random tab in the middle here delete that we want to take out those tabs at the top it's going to highlight the whole thing double click clear all okay so now we can remove these additional tabs that were there and the last thing we want to do is basically change this indentation so it more comes in line with the rest of the document and then we're going to go and justify and that's basically it this looks kind of more in line with what's at the top yeah and of course we also want to change what we already changed our before and our after spacing right we're going to the next section now which is just this little part left so again we're just gonna 
we don't we no longer use any returns to put spaces between paragraphs because we know we can use before paragraph space and now and here you can increase or decrease as much as you want right and then we're going to just highlight all of it change it to times change it to 11 6 0 line spacing of 1 and then we're just going to align these parts there we're going to justify and that should be fine so now your formatting is a little bit more consistent and a little bit cleaner uh, it, the key is always to find a format that works for you that you think would be appropriate and you maintain that consistency throughout your entire document and avoid using um, random characters and random tabs to space your document and to edit your document um, there are easier ways to, to add spaces before paragraphs and after paragraphs as you've seen here there are tools available that you can use and there are also page breaks available to push your document or push your 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 information to another page if you need to in my next video i'd like to show you how to make use of these special tabs at the top here to format a table as well as how to import a table from excel um, so i hope that you join me for that one as well and i hope you learned something enjoy